Hi, hello, welcome to Knowledge Center. Before going into the today's session, I just want to recall the things which you have done regarding the clock. So regarding clock, till now I have made four videos on it, four lecturer videos. So in lecture 1 and 2 video, I have explained the basic concept of the clock and also there we have solved the problems related how, what is an angle between the hour and a minute hand in a given time. That's what we discussed in the lecture 1 and 2. And in lecture 3, I have explained about how to find an angle or how to find a time at which both the hands are going to be same angle, means are going to be overlapped. Okay, that is the angle between the hour and minute hand will be 0 degree. So, that discussion has been done in lecture 3. And in lecture 4, we have taken just opposite part. That is, uh, at what time both the hands are going to be opposite to each other. It means, the angle between those two should be 180 degree. So, this is step by step we have discussed in my previous lectures. Those who are beginners and those who are not gone through my, my previous videos, kindly go through it. The link of those videos has been given in the description and also it is available in the icons over there. You can just look it over there and you can click on it. So now let's move on for the today's session. So in this class, we are going to study about right angle. As you can see here, right angle in the sense what? In a clock, the hour and and a minute and are going to be exactly displaced by an angle of 90 degree. Just you need to find at what time they are going to be displaced by 90 degree. So that is how the question is going to be framed. Right. So to do this, first let me tell you one simple thing. That is the important note which I have given in the lecture 1 of this clock. That is a uh, minute hand means 55 spaces are gained by a minute and in a 60 minute. That statement is very important uh, and that explanation, explanation has been given very clearly in one and two lectures of a clock. So kindly watch it here. So note, note having that point in mind, we can solve the problems easily. So now according to this concept, let me tell you, see if I consider a time between three o'clock and four o'clock, let me consider the uh, time is between three o'clock and four o'clock. So our end is going to be between that. So let me draw the hour hand first. And then what would be the uh, means at, in between 3 and 4, at what time the hour hand and the minute hand are going to be exactly 90 degree apart from each other. That's what you need to find. So what you can do here, say uh, this is one option, means we can draw one perpendicular line for this hour and like this. So if you draw the perpendicular line, it may not be exactly straight line, but I uh, adjust for that. It is a perpendicular line. So I have drawn two hands here. So this is a minute hand, this is also a minute hand. Just what I mean here is, we are going to get two possibles of having a right angle degree. That is 90 degree. So after 4 o'clock, you may have the time here and this is exactly 90 degree. So this I can say, first possible. And there is another possible that, before this, even the minute hand may be at somewhere here, where we can get 90 degree, which is exactly 90 degree with respect to this, our hand. Right. So there are two possible answers for this kind of a question. That's what I just wanted to highlight here. We get two possible answers for right angle. In two cases, we are going to have that hour hand and a minute hand exactly 90 degree apart from each other. So we have to solve for both. And in options, whichever the answer is given, you select any one of it. Okay. Uh, I will take one problem as an example so that you can it will be clear for you. So this is how we need to do. So before taking an example, let me make it very simple. Here. There are three simple steps you need to follow to solve this kind of problem. First step is you just need to draw the hour hand. So draw hour hand. And then second step is just draw one perpendicular line with respect to that hour hand as a basic line. So I have drawn one perpendicular line here. So draw one perpendicular line. Okay. And after that, using the note, that is 55 spaces are gained by a minute hand in a 60 minutes. You Using that note, you can calculate the answer for this. So first, let me take one example and I will explain you how to solve this. Here. Okay. So they in exam, in competitive exam, what they actually do is, they give some time. 
So, for example, in between 5 and 6 o'clock, what is the time at which both hour hand and minute hand are exactly 90 degree apart? This is how the question will be presented. So, now let me take an example that is the first and one question. At what time between 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock? So, that is the question one here. At what time between 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock? The uh, hour and and minute hand are going to be at a right angle. That is the question. So now what I do? I have taken a question. I have given a question for you now. At what time between 4 o'clock and uh, 5 o'clock? The hour and and a minute and is going to be exactly 90 degree apart of it. So first what you need to do? According to this method. First draw the hour and. See they are clearly mentioned that it is between 4 and 5. So our and is going to lie in between these two, 4 and 5. Now the minute and how to find out minute and? So, draw a perpendicular line, that is the second step. Just draw a perpendicular line for this our and. So, if I draw the perpendicular line to the our and, we may get it like this. Okay, so which is exactly 90 degree. So, we got two angles here, two possibilities. Let me take this as a first possibility and this as a second possibility. Okay. So now first I will solve it for this first possible and then we will solve for the second possibility. So let's see what is the first possible. Okay. So according to the first case, case 1. Okay. Very simple thing you need to understand here. That is the statement for 50 minutes, for 60 minutes, minute hand will get a, will gain 55 spaces. So 55 for 60 minutes. So uh, now, our and is exactly here and let us take this first possible case. Here what you can say, the minute and is past this 5 minutes. It is more than the 5 minutes. It is in between 5 and 10 minutes, 1 and 2, right? So it is passing 5 minutes and don't, we don't know what is exactly a time taken here. So what you can do here is, for, for 5 spaces, how many, uh, for what time we are getting the uh, angle of this? Five, it is passing the 5. Okay, that's what you need to write. So, how we got this? This is with respect to the statement what I have given. That is, 55 spaces are gained when the minute hand is passing the 60 minutes. Okay. So, that statement is clearly explained in my previous videos. Watch it clearly. So, with respect to that statement, we can write the conditions like this. So, this condition will help us to solve the problem. Then. So, what we have to write here is, 55 spaces are gained in 60 minutes. Now 5 minutes is gained. At what time? So 5 minutes at what time? That is x. We don't know that. That's what we need to find here. Okay. So how to solve it? Just cross multiply this. So 55 into x is equal to 60 into 5. Therefore what you can say? x is equal to 60 into 5 by 55. From which I can say that 5 1 the 5 11 the total is 60 by 11. You check for an option. If this option is given, you no need to calculate for the second option. Okay, just you can select that and you can, you can put a tick mark over there. Okay, and also sometimes the answer will not be given in this fashion. You can divide this, therefore you can say 60, 11. So 11, 5 is a 55, isn't it? So 5 will be the remaining reminder. So what you can do now here is 5, 5 by 11. So this is what the uh, minute, exact the time, 5, 5 by 11 minute, past 4, past 4, after 4 o'clock, when this hour and is moved after 4 o'clock, 5, 5 by 11 minutes, then the minute and is exactly 90 degree with respect to the hour and, that is what the answer is, it means when hour and is past this 4 o'clock with 5, 5 by 11 or 60 by 11 minutes, when it passed 4 o'clock by 60 by 11 minutes, at that time, minute hand is exactly 90 degree with respect to the hour and that is the answer okay they may give this this as an option or they may give this as an option okay then this is about first position for second position it will be different so for second position what happens first you have to write it as it is 55 60 then what is the minute hand is moved now see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay it is after the, it has been passed that 7 so 7 means how many minutes? 7 for the 35. So 35 minutes at what time x? That's the only change will be there. So again apply the same concept and find x. 
Therefore, x is equal to 60 into 35 by 55. So, 511 is a 57. So, now what happens? 6 7 is a 42. So, 420 by 11 minutes. This is the answer. Another answer. Okay. Now, means this is the another time at which the hour hand and minute hand is going to be 90 degree displaced with each other. Okay. And even this can be given as 11 divided by 420 and 420 divided by 11 that is 11 threes are 33 we get difference as 9 so 0 will remain as it is 11 8 is 88 and we get it as 2 okay so now what happens 38 2 by 11 this will be the option okay this is what we can say 38 2 by 11 minutes past 4 Okay, past 4. Okay, after 4 o'clock, 38 minutes, 38 to 11 minutes, after that, at that exact time, the hour and minute and are going to be 90 degree apart. So, this is how we have to solve the answers for this. Right. So, in option, you have to check whether this option is given or this option is given. Both are correct. If both are given, and they will sometimes, this is what, what going to happen. They will give both the answers and the third option will be something both A and B are correct. So then C, option C has to be selected in that case. Okay. So be careful about the options and this is how the solution for the question has to be done. I hope it is clear for you. Now you take a question of any time. You can try it for an hour between 7 and 8. In between 7 and 8, what at what time exactly uh, the both the hand and, and uh, hour minutes, hour and uh, minute hands will be exactly 90 degrees. That's a question you can put for yourself and you can solve it. So just practice it, take one or two more questions on it and solve it here. That will make it perfect. I hope this is clear for you. If it is clear, you can share among this video, share this video among your friends and also don't miss to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.